<laughs> yeah, if I do this, yeah. Alright guys, so to start off, we are going to be using this e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow palette. We are going to start off with the lighter shade and we are going to start by shading in the inner portions of our eyebrows, so the portions closest to our nose. And then we will be taking the darker shade and we're going to start shading in the rest of our eyebrows. Next, I am going to take this e.l.f. concealer and I like to put little dots around my eyebrow and then I use my little fucked up concealer brush and just outline around my eyebrows to kind of clean up the shading that we do. Next, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow primer in order to prime my eyes before I start, of course, applying my eyeshadow. you guys can see by the name of the video I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe the vault palettes and this one is called armed and gorgeous I'm gonna start off with this yellowish orangey color and I'm gonna start by applying that all over my crease I'm using a pretty fluffy blending brush and I am just blending my life away to kind of, you know, show the color, but since it's a transition color, it doesn't need to be super duper visible. So I totally forgot to show you guys, but I am now applying the green color on the outer V of my eye and I'm just packing that in there and blending it up onto my crease as well. Okay, so next we're gonna take in Super Stay Better Control Skin Concealer and Corrector and I am going to apply some auto brush in order to do my half cut crease so I'm kind of still learning how to do a cut crease but actually half cut crease comes out very well with me so this is how I do it as far as like the middle of your eyelid not too far because then you're gonna basically mess up the green that you packed into the outer V of your eye so make sure you are very precise when you are doing this okay so next I'm gonna be taking Anastasia's modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna be using the color Primavera and I'm gonna be keep be going over where I concealed in my eyes to get that shimmer in the cut crease. The Jaclyn Hill palette has some really cute shimmers too, but I'm actually very obsessed with these modern renaissance ones, so that's why I chose to use the modern renaissance shimmer.
color from the palette and I'm just going to be blending that all together with the shimmer so that I don't have the harsh lines from the concealer or anything like that and I'm just going to blend 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 until everything is nice and like I said no harsh lines. Sorry, I'm not a beauty expert, so I don't have sick ass eyeliner skills. So for my eyeliner, I'm gonna be using this Kat Von D tattoo liner. Freaking love this thing. So precise, so easy to use. My all-time favorite liquid eyeliner. with the face we are going to be using this elf primer to prime our face before we start adding our foundation and all of the other face stuff okay so next I'm gonna be applying my foundation I'm gonna apply a little onto my beauty blender and then tap away and then apply it all over my face <music> that you get down to your neck so that you don't have a different color neck than face because that looks disgusting. Okay, so next we're going to be going back with my concealer and we are going to highlight all the areas in the middle of our face and our nose, above our lips, under our lips, slightly in our forehead, and of course to cover up those terrible eye bags. Okay, so going back with our beauty blender, we are going to blend that concealer into our face. Make sure you blend it properly so we don't have some harsh lines or anything undesired in our face. Okay, now it's time to set our foundation and our concealer. Um, I forgot what brand this setting powder is, but love this thing. Works wonders. <laughs> totally dropped the little pad here, but... We're going to apply that all over our face, and I guess this is considered baking? I wouldn't know, but yeah, apply it all over your face to set that foundation. So after letting the setting powder sit on our face for a couple minutes, we're going to use this brush to, you know, I guess penetrate it into your face. I'm not sure what the term is, but basically finish setting your face. Next, it is time to contour our face, highlight, and apply some brush. Blush, not brush. Um, I have this CoverGirl, it's like a three-in-one, so I have the contour, the highlight, and the blush in one. And I use a darker color, obviously, to contour my face. And then I'll be going in with the little color in the middle, which is a highlight. 
And lastly, I'll be going in with the blush to give my cheeks some pop. And just like with the foundation, you want to get your neck when you contour so it doesn't look all weird. my little contour color and put it like on the bridges of my nose and it makes it look a little contoured skinnier. So now I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm taking the same orange shade, green shade and I'm going under my waterline. So a little trick to make your lips appear larger is to apply some contour at the bottom and it just makes them look fuller and bigger. I'm sure you guys know how to apply mascara, but of course that is next. Now the look is complete and we are moving on to doing our hair. So since I have curly hair, I like to curl it with a straightener because I can curl it and straighten it in one go. It's really simple. Um, if you guys would like to see how I curl my hair with a straightener, let me know in the comment section and I'll do a separate video on that. All done with the hair. So next we're going to uh, do our lips. I'm applying this... <laughs> It's like the super glossy lip glosses that I used to use when I was like super little and I thought it was like super cool when I used to wear them. But I actually love this thing. It's so glossy and I prefer gloss to lipstick honestly. 